lava lamps. There's something mesmerizing about watching those globs float around in that colored liquid. These super cool lights are generically known as liquid motion lamps. The first one was created in England in 1963 by Edward Craven Walker. He called his creation the Astro Lamp. Several years later, it was brought to the U.S. and called them Lava Lights. They soon became quite popular. In the 1960s and 1970s, many young people bought liquid motion lamps. They were also popular in counterculture move movements, such as the hippies. Today, they're still a popular item. They can be seen in many dorm rooms on college campuses around the country. Is it real lava floating in liquid motion lamps? No, of course not. Instead, it's a special type of wax. It sure does look like lava though, doesn't it? How exactly do liquid motion lamps work? When you flip the switch to on, the light bulb starts to heat up. As it happens, the special wax inside the lamp expands. Eventually, it becomes a liquid less dense than the water above it. That's when the wax stretches and rises. It breaks into smaller globs along the way. When it gets to the top of the lamp, it cools again, since it's farther away from the light bulb. As it cools, it sinks back to the bottom. Then, the process repeats. The science behind liquid motion lamps is simple, but making them is not. The wax and water are made up of special secret ingredients. This ensures that they provide the best effect possible. Now it's time for experiment. Hi, today we're gonna make a DIY lava lamp. The materials that we need are a clear bottle, a funnel, oil, alka seltzer, water, food coloring, and a light if you want. Here's my assistant, my big brother Miguel. First, we pour water into the bottle. Next, we pour the oil. It works best if it's slanted. Get out the food. And then we add 8 drops of food coloring. Uh -huh. Choose whatever you want. I want to choose the color blue. Okay. Do you want to pour it or I? I want to pour it. Because I really like that. Because I haven't tried this before. Okay. So, I'll squeeze. One, One two, two, three, four. Five on, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Eight. Next, here's the fun part. Let's put in the alka seltzer and watch the show. Okay. Watch it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. I popped it! Oh. 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 It's so captain! Oh. This is weird. This is not happen. Let's add some more. This Whoa. is cool. Check out all those bubbles! It's so this cool. one, this is weird. Actually, it's also awesome. Here's how our DIY lava lamp works. 
The oil floats on top of the water because it is less dense or lighter than water. The food coloring has the same density as the water. So it sinks through the oil and mixes with the water. When it, you add the tablet, it sinks to the bottom. Then it starts to dissolve. As it dissolves, it makes gas, carbon dioxide. Gas or air is lighter than water, so it floats to the top. The air bubbles bring some colored water with them to the top. When the air comes out of the colored water blob, the water gets heavy again and sinks. It does this over and over again until the tablet is completely dissolved. 